Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an affordable clothing haul of clothes, mostly from Target. I have a few clothes from Old Navy as well as Nordstrom, but everything is going to be super affordable because that is how I roll. And I found a lot of shoes at Target because right now Target is totally killing it with their shoe game. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start with shoes and then I'm gonna move on to the clothing that I found and just kind of take it from there. Now I'm just trying to make this video as easy as possible. I'm filming in the nursery today because my duvet cover was in the wash. Usually my bed sits behind my video and I was like, you know what? I don't even wanna make my bed today. And at 33 and a half weeks pregnant, I think that that's totally okay. I'm just trying to get by with whatever is easiest for me. But I really wanted to film this video for you guys because I feel like I found some really good stuff and I wanted to share it with you all. I will leave all of the links below to everything that I can find online. Hopefully all of this is online because I promise you guys, this is some really good stuff. So we'll go ahead and start with the shoes, get those out of the way, and then move on to the clothes. The first shoes that I have are from Target, and these are what they look like. They are from Target Online. I do not believe they have them in stores. I have been wearing the heck out of these. That is why they already look a little bit dirty, but they've got this rose gold right here, and I had been eyeing them online for so long, and so I asked for them for Christmas, and my mom got them for me. These are a size nine. I usually wear an eight and a half or a nine, and I would definitely say to size, like half a size up or a whole size up, because they do fit really tight on your feet like socks. They are very comfortable, but they don't have like a whole lot of support on the bottom. So if you're looking for like a tennis shoe to work out in or something, these are not them. If you're looking for a tennis shoe to wear with shorts or jeans or athleisure or whatever, these are definitely perfect for that. I want to say they're around $30. However, they might almost be sold out. These ended up being a really popular shoe um, before. I, I asked for them way before Christmas, but I think that these ended up being a popular shoe, so I don't know how many they have left, but I will leave them below um, in a link if you guys want to check them out, but definitely size up a little bit in them because they do run kind of small. Another pair of shoes that I got, these are a little bit controversial. Um, I had mentioned them in a vlog or something. People were like, oh, I just can't do those shoes. But these are like almost an exact dupe for a Steve Madden pair. And I think you either really like them or you really hate them. I personally really like them. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think that they're really cute. I love the blush the rose gold and the black. Those are just like my favorite colors, so it was really a no-brainer. My husband, when I brought these home, he was like, oh yes, those are a Britney shoe. So they're not for everyone, but I really like them. They do have them in stores. I've seen them in stores. Even the bottom is like rose gold, and they do run true to size. I have an eight and a half, and I think that any other size would have been too big, so I would definitely say true to size on these if you do order them. They are very comfortable. I think that they have a little bit more support in them than these do, but once again, these are not like a workout shoe at all. They're just like a um, athleisure kind of tennis shoe. So just be aware of that. Where's my other controversial shoe? I posted about these on Instagram and I was like, should I get them? Should I not? It was like 20% said do get them and like 80% said don't. So <laughs> I ended up getting them because I'm a rebel and that's just, I just like them and I don't care if anybody else likes them or not. However, I think these are going to end up being a really popular shoe and they are these pink, well blush colored crushed velvet mules and when the mule trend first kind of came out I was like there's no way I'm getting on that because they look like grandma shoes but these are just so cute. Like you can totally wear these for the winter and transition them into spring with some um, like skinny jeans, some distressed skinny jeans, some white um, skinny jeans. These are just so cute and they're so comfortable. They're perfect for a pregnant mom who can't reach down and tie her shoes. They're just so easy to slip on and they're so stylish and I like that the toe isn't like too pointed because I just can't do pointy toed shoes. I just can't. So these are like the perfect little slide on mules and I got a size nine so I would say half a size up in these um, because eight and a half was definitely too small for me which is usually my like my true to size size. So I would say half a size up if you're gonna order some but I have a feeling that these are gonna go fast. Um, I don't know. I just do. I, okay, where's my favorite pair of shoes? So I ordered these online. I don't think they have these in stores. They're by the brand DV, and this is what they look like. 
love them. They are like this blush beige color with a little bit of gold across the top. They are tennis shoes, obviously, and they do run really small. These are a nine and a half. I usually wear a nine in tennis shoes, but they didn't even have a nine. They jumped from eight and a half to nine and a half. But when I was looking at the measurements, I think that's because there's a very small difference between the size nine and nine and a half shoe, so they just didn't even make a nine. And I could not have worn a smaller size. Like with socks and everything, these are perfect. So if you're thinking about ordering some of these, which you definitely should because these are adorable and they look a lot more expensive than they actually are. They were like 30-ish dollars. So definitely get these if they're still available because I'm sure these are going to go really fast too. Um, oh, they're just like my favorite shoe ever like of life. I don't, I haven't even worn them yet because I'm afraid to get them dirty. I think I'm going to wear them today though. Um, with this shirt that I have on. So these are the last shoe that I wanted to talk about. Those are from Target online. And then now we're going to jump into the clothes from Target. And this top is actually one of the shirts from Target. This is a, an amazing quality shirt. You guys, it is very thick. The material is really good. It's by a new day and I am loving a new day's clothes. <laughs> it's kind of like a really long, like weird name, but I'm loving their clothes. I think Target really did step it up in their clothing game because for a while there I was like, these clothes are cheap looking. They're ugly. Like I just don't like them. Finally, a new day came out with some really nice, like on trend looks a little bit more higher end kind of stuff. I love it. So anyways, disregard the tangent. This shirt right here is like a sweatshirt material. They have four different colors in them. I got three out of the four so far and I'm probably going to go back and get the fourth one. But I wanted to stand up and show you guys because this works with a bump and without a bump. And that's really exciting because I love things that are kind of versatile like that. So if you are pregnant, it works with and without a bump. But this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's like gathered right here and then it just fits like a regular sweatshirt, but it works with a bump, as you can see, and then when my bump is gone, which I don't think I can really suck in very much, but it'll just look like a regular like gathered sweatshirt t-shirt. And they are so thick and comfy, but not too thick to where it's like, I'm burning up in this Texas weather. It's perfect. It's a perfect piece for transition from winter to spring. And they're only $19.99, which is crazy because these are so nice. So I wanted to show y'all what other colors I got and then tell you the color that I didn't get. The one color that I haven't got yet is like this lilac, really light purple color. It's gorgeous but they didn't have it in my size, so I hadn't picked it up yet. And by the way, I'm wearing a size medium. Um, I probably could wear a small if I didn't have a bump, but I think once my bump is gone, it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be a little bit oversized, but I don't even, I'm not sure though if I could wear a small because the arms fit a little bit tight right here, like around the cuff, not this part, but just the cuff part. And I like to do this with my sleeves. So I think a medium fits me perfect. So if you kind of have like the body type of mine or if you're pregnant, medium is perfect. Um, a small might be too small for you, but like I said, if I had to, I could wear a small. And then I got this olive green color. Y'all, the, the fabric of these is just so luxurious. Like it feels like it should be way more expensive than it actually is. So I got the olive and this is what it looks like at the bottom. You see how it's like, I don't know. I don't know what they call that. Just I'll leave all of these below. I will leave the links to every color below because I suggest you get every single color um, and leave a lilac one for me because I really want that one. I feel like it'd be so pretty for spring with like some white um, like skinny jeans. Oh, it'd be so cute. And then of course I had to get a gray one. So this is the gray right here and they're, I, ju I just love them so much. They're just like staple quality pieces that you need in your wardrobe right now. And I'm trying to really revamp my wardrobe and get really nice pieces that are gonna last me rather than get a bunch of pieces that are really crappy. So I promise you will not be disappointed in the quality of those at all. Another um, clothing item from Target that I think that you need is this right here. And this is a sweater vest. And I've worn this a lot in Instagram photos 
If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I will leave it like right here or something. But go follow me on Instagram. But I posted a picture or two with this sweater um, vest on and it does have a hood. I would say that it does run a little bit big. I have an extra small. I could have worn a small but all they had left was like extra small and extra large at my Target so that shows you it's a little bit of more of a popular item but they do have them online. I checked. I didn't check right before this video so we, I don't know that for sure but I did check online for someone else and they do have them online so I will leave that below but I feel like this is just the perfect um, addition to your outfit because if it's too hot it still looks like a cardigan like a layering piece but it's not it doesn't have sleeves so you're not gonna burn up especially like in Texas I love the layered look but a lot of times like I have to end up losing the cardigan because I'm so hot like my arms are just sweating so this is perfect it's a perfect solution for that because it's just like a vest but it gives you that layering kind of look so I will leave this below. This is a very nice quality piece. I had somebody who um, went and got one after I posted about it and she picked it up and said that she thought it was like amazing quality, you know, for Target. Um, I, I just feel like they've really stepped up their game a lot. So this is a really nice piece that's going to last you until next year. Now you're going to see a color theme here that I'm really liking. Grays, blushes, whites, stuff like that because I feel like it works well in the winter and transitions really well into the spring and the summer and it's really just like my favorite color pretty much. I'm a neutrals kind of girl so you're never going to really see me pull out something like red or royal blue or something. That's just not who I am. So they do have other colors of these though in case you're interested. So this one right here first of all is like a heathered blush color. I've worn it once, I washed it, I dried it, and it is perfect still. Um, it's wonderful quality. It's not, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It's got this cute little pocket, which I love. I love shirts with little pockets on there. This is a medium. I mainly got a medium to fit my bump, so I would probably wear a small if I didn't have a bump, but this is going to fit me just fine with that one, especially because it's long enough in the back to cover my butt so I can wear it with leggings, which I'm probably going to be wearing a lot of postpartum. So this is a really nice quality shirt. I think they also have like maybe a gray and a beige, just like these gorgeous colors like this. So I'll try and leave that in a link below too. I'm like totally out of breath. And I have to leave to go get my kids in just a few minutes, so I'm like trying to not rush through this video, but also trying to rush through this video. So I just have a couple more things to mention anyways. This is another top from Old Navy. This is more of like a three-quarter length sleeve, but you see how long it is? It's almost like a tunic, but it's got that slit up the side, which is really, really flattering. Um, it doesn't like hug your curves around the side too tight to where it looks like not flattering. Um, I love shirts that are cut right there, especially because you can also tuck them into jeans or you could twist them up like this if you wanted to. So I think this is going to be really flattering postpartum because I can wear it with leggings, but even if I wasn't postpartum, this is just something that I would be drawn to. Um, one, because of the color and two, just because it's longer. I kind of have a long torso and I like to wear leggings a lot, but I always wear shirts that cover my butt when I wear leggings, so this is perfect. And I got this for $10. Now, I don't know if they're $10 online. I think it might have been an accident because they were hanging. All these shirts were hanging with a sign that says $10, but it didn't ring up that way. The guy still gave it to me because he had to honor it. But I don't know if they were supposed to be there. So they're probably like $22.99 or something if I was guessing. But this is like the Lux brand. So they're very soft, very nice quality. Um, but definitely a nice like staple three-quarter length shirt. Definitely can wear that into the spring because it's not real thick or anything. And you could layer like this over it if you wanted to. And put it on with some leggings, maybe some of these cute shoes that I have down here. Easy, good to go. Okay, so two more things that I wanted to talk about. Now, I have been shopping more at Nordstrom. I was never really a Nordstrom shopper, but if you really look, they have some really nice things for reasonable prices. Prices that you would pay for something at Target. So one of my New Year's resolutions is to not buy so much crap at Target, if that makes sense. Like. I'm still going to be going to Target, but I want to make sure the things that I buy are really nice quality versus having more and at a lesser quality, if that makes sense. 
So I ordered some t-shirts from Nordstrom. I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I do not get dressed up like every day and wear like these elaborate outfits. If we're being honest, I'm gonna be wearing a t-shirt and leggings for a majority of the time. So it's nice to have some really luxurious t-shirts that are nice quality, that you really like, that you really feel confident in. So I grabbed these two halogen tees. Of course, they're gray and blush. I mean, what do you expect? But they have all different colors. I'm probably gonna order some more. They're two different tees. They're both halogen, they're both smalls, but they're two different tees. So I will, when I link them below, I'll put gray tee and then pink tee. But this one is a little bit of just like a normal length shirt. Um, it's so soft, the quality of it is wonderful. It's just like a perfect little t-shirt. Um, it's not slit up the sides or anything, so it's kind of like up to you whether or not you like that look or not. This is a small, and I do feel like their stuff kind of runs big, so definitely kind of size down or get true to size. Um, a medium would have been way too big for me postpartum. And then I would highly recommend this one, mainly because it's so versatile. You could wear it with leggings because look how long it is in the back right here, and this one is like... This one is so soft, but you see how it's slit right here? So you could tuck it into the front of your jeans. You could wear it with leggings because it's longer. And let me show you like the length between the two. Remember they're the same um, brand, but you see how this one's V is a little bit deeper cut. Look how the difference is between the two. So this one is definitely longer than this one, which I prefer because I have a longer torso. And then if they shrink or anything, I don't have to worry about this one shrinking to a length that I can't wear anymore. So I would recommend the pink one if you're a little bit like longer torsoed or if you wanna wear it with leggings or tuck it in or something. But I do think both of them are gonna be like staple items in my mommy wardrobe because I can just throw these on with leggings, any of the shoes that I mentioned down here, throw on a cardigan if it's cooler, you know? Like that's just what I'm about, like easy, really easy go-to outfits that you can just kind of pull a couple things out of the closet and it's gonna go no matter what. You guys will actually see my huge closet clean out probably coming out pretty soon. I've been working on that for way too long and I'm trying to get it done before the baby gets here and I have been filming it so that's in the process but you will see that whole like master closet organization video that will be up soon I hope. But that is it for this video. All the links will be um, listed below if you guys are interested. If you have any questions about sizing or anything like that, definitely let me know below and I will get back to you. But I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit out of breath or scatterbrained or just, I am just so pregnant <laughs> and just totally out of breath. I am hot and I gotta get going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel. And also make sure that you're still subscribed because YouTube has been unsubscribing people. I don't know why or how that works, but I've had a lot of people notify me and say, hey, I was unsubscribed from your channel. Believe me, I didn't do that. So it's really irritating as a YouTuber to know that people are being unsubscribed. So definitely check that often just to make sure that you're still getting updates from my channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.